Hey guys, this is Nick with another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be using different blending modes in order to um, make layering our night sky photography with our light painted foreground um, a little bit easier in Photoshop. So let's hop over to the computer. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom. Uh, this is where we're, we're going to start. This is where my workflow always starts. The first thing I'm going to do is prep all of these files in order to make the blending a little bit easier in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and um, do what I want. I, I'm going to go through and fix my white balance on all these shots. Um, I'm also going to do a few things that will make, make it the blending in Photoshop a little bit easier. Uh, so I'm going to decrease the blacks and I am going to add a little bit of clarity and boost the shadows in the sky. I don't want the sky getting too dark on me. Um, so that's good. And I'm not going to sync I'm not going to sync these settings over to my other images because I want them to uh, have a slightly cooler white balance, something like that. I want it to mimic moonlight. And I'm also going to have kind of a lower contrast foreground. That way, hopefully, it goes with most of the foreground um, once we layer it together. I'm going to take these settings and I'm going to sync them over to my third image here which is just another light painted um, another image of light painting on this bench here and so these are our three files now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all three I'm going to go up to edit in open as layers in Photoshop then I'll click open anyway it's a little pop-up dialog that I wish we could get rid of Now it's going to open these three layers up in Photoshop. And then we wait, and we wait, and we wait a little longer. And you can see over here it's opening the three files, one on top of the other. Just like that. Wait for it, come on. Okay, there we are. Now, um, I pretty much opened them exactly how I want them. I wanted, I wanted our night sky on the bottom and the other two on top. So since that these were take, obviously taken on a tripod, I don't need to do anything to align them. They should be perfectly aligned. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to do one layer at a time. We're going to select this layer, and we're going to change the blending mode up here we're going to change it from normal to lighten. And what that's going to do is it o it's only going to use the parts of this image that are brighter than the, um, the image below it. So when I change it to that, bam, the night sky comes through. But we are going to have some weirdness. Like if you see down here on this table, if I zoom in, uh, the first thing is on this table we got a little bit of the different white balance coming through. The moon moved in between shots, and all of the stars are just a slightly, slightly different place. Therefore, they popped through. So we're going to have to do some uh, layer masking to make this work right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have this layer selected. I'm going to select a new layer mask. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to paint black anywhere that I don't want um, this light painting layer to poke through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paint. And I'm going to change my opacity to a nice high opacity so it doesn't take forever. And as I do that you can see the moon trail kind of goes away. And that's about all we need to do. Um, so yeah. Also we have the the issue of this bottom layer, you can see that the top of the table is a little bit brighter than it is in this other layer. So the way we can fix that 
is if I just paint directly on this layer with some uh, a nice dark color, which I already have selected black. Oops, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to go like that. And I'm just going to paint black on this bottom section that I don't want to use this layer for at all. So now when I select this one, we have this nice low noise foreground. And now when I turn on this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up here and change the blend mode of this one. We're going to change it to lighten. And now it filled in the other side. You can see what it did as I turn it on and off. You know, I almost like, I almost like it with the hard shadows, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to, we're going to use this. Also notice when I turn this on and off, if you look up here at the moon, you get that weirdness and then there's a few extra stars that pop up so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna, gonna create a layer mask we're gonna come up here and we're going to paint black on this on this layer that we just added that way we don't get any any weird artifacts up in the sky and that's pretty much it um, that way when we turn it on and off, we're not getting any weirdness by the moon, we're just getting this extra foreground. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control shift e and that essentially flattens the image. I'm going to hit File Save, and then our file is going to come back into Lightroom. Although, yeah, there it is. And now, like, now that I'm noticing my white balance was a little bit too cool for the sky, too cool for school, I'm going to go ahead and try to make it the foreground match a little bit just with an adjustment brush. Come in here, paint a little bit of amber and purple into there. Now I'm going to take another adjustment brush, add some sharpness and clarity to this foreground add in all that texture and hit F for full screen and that's our image um, yeah so this is a, a perfect way of using um, the blending modes in Photoshop anytime you're doing a night sky shot and then you're light painting the foreground this this makes your life a lot easier to blend the uh, different images together so hopefully this has been useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, email me at nickpagephotography at gmail.com. And if you want to see more of my tutorials, go over to nickpagephotography.com, and I've got more tutorials for you over there. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Hopefully this has been useful for you. See you next time.